Hi, I'm gonna show you today how to make a nice home pool sand filter uh, for under $100. Uh, first, you need to pick a container size uh, suitable for your needs. So I've got a pretty large pool, 55,000 gallons, so I'm doing a big model. And this one is basically just a storage tote from Menards. Um, I bought one that sits nicely with the another one and I'm gonna make them too thick. So you need to make sure that if you do that, that the shape, that the plastic is close together. Uh, you need what's called a bulkhead fitting. This was the biggest part of the job I had to figure out. So this is an inch and a half bulkhead fitting, which means the outside piece is inch and a half and neither comes smooth that you can put a piece of PVC pipe in. Um, I chose a threaded version for mine and we're gonna have a barbed uh, hose end on the other side. So uh, all available on Amazon, inch and a half, um, bulkhead fitting and again choose whether it's a smooth for PVC pipe or threaded. The nipple you want to use is an inch and a half NPT by inch and a half barbed is what you would look for to find that one. Um, I also chose one that is on a 90 so if you wanted to put your fitting in on an angle you could do it that way. So uh, the Hole saw that I used for that is a two and a half inch hole saw. Even though it's inch and a half, this uh, fitting here is two and a half inches. So this goes in the plastic like that. There's a rubber washer that goes on the inside to seal it. So you've got an inlet and an outlet. So your inlet is gonna be at the top here. That's where your water comes in. It goes down through the sand and then it gets picked up by the outlet tube and back to your pool. So for my inlet, or let's look at the outlet first. So this is what I've got going on in the bottom. It's gonna be like that along the bottom. So a lot of area to pick up the water across the sand. On the bottom, I cut this with, you could either use a chop saw or a table saw and make multiple small cuts. I've seen people drill holes, but the holes are too big, I think, and you're going to pull more sand in. So this is very small um, and that's going to go on the bottom. So your water comes down uh, through the sand and then you pick up the very bottom of the water. Okay. I built a similar one or will build a similar one for the top, except the top I chose to do holes and the holes are going to spray the water out equally amongst the sand. So you want the holes on the top so that way the water comes up and over the top fills the bottom of the tube which it does not have holes if you put the holes on the bottom then the majority of the water is going to come out the inlet side and not make it all the way to the bottom so when it's on top the water is going to flow all the way across till it gets to the level of the hole and then it's going to spill out equally amongst the whole thing uh, i've got three of them for mine so um the two side ones go straight up. The center one I did offsets to spray it and that'll distribute the water equally amongst the bucket here. The pieces I used um, is a two inch inlet. So uh, attached to the bulkhead fitting on the inside is this two inch piece that's got threaded NPT thread on one side and uh, takes pipe on the other side. So that's this piece here that's threaded and then pipe uh, a short nipple piece here, this tri piece that's two inches uh, on the inlet and then inch and a half, I've got three of them. There's a short nipple there and then they make a tight 90 and a wide 90. For my purpose, I wanted a tight 90 to be able to fit it in. So um, you'll need a little bit of two inch, this two by one and a half tri split, uh, cut some nipples and 90 degrees, your pipe, and then end caps, inch and a half end caps on it. If you wanted to do a smaller version of this, you could use a five gallon bucket. And I've already, I made one of those with the threaded fitting on the bottom and top. Um, this is for chlorine distribution, but it'd do the same thing as a uh, sand filter. Uh, because the bucket is curved, it doesn't quite mate. So I used a torch and I warmed up the plastic till it was flexible and then I flattened it out um, and then my bulkhead uh, hard to see there but my bulkhead attaches to a flat spot on the thing um, and that's got a nice tight cap on it 
uh, then an inch and a half regular sump pump hose is what I'm using for my inlet and outlet. So under 100 bucks, you just got to figure out what kind of a layout you're going to do and what size bucket you're going to use.